We're going to talk about how to submit the IA today, how to package everything up, how to get it ready for submission. It's not hard, but it does take a little bit of time. So you're going to need this forms.zip. Go ahead and unzip it, and you'll have a folder, and inside of that folder you're going to have a couple subfolders on the cover page. I'll go ahead and open this just to make it easier to see. Right inside of here, here's cover page, documentation, which has more things, and a product folder. Okay, so each of these things, let's talk about each thing. So product folder, this is where your actual program goes, the program that you've created, whether that be in JavaScript or Java or Python or C or whatever language, whatever language you've created your product in, it goes into here. Preferably, it would, it would be ideal if that program runs correctly from all those files. That's the idea, is that it could run. Uh, the other aspect is that if they want to investigate your code or they want to look into your code, they have access to it so they could see it as well. They're probably not going to look at it because they should be able to do all of the grading and assessing from your documentation, right? A through E. Now in here, you might notice that D is missing. That's because D is the video file that you create. So you have to add in D into here, okay? So... That's the overview. This cover page, if I open this with, I don't know what the best software is to open this with right now. Not that there's particularly a bad one, just that I have things open already. All right. Okay, so here is the cover page. You will need to modify this. You don't need to modify all of it. This is an old cover page that they haven't really updated. So where it says things like student name and um, candidate number and some of those things, some of those things you don't necessarily need to add onto there, username, etc. You don't need to add all of these on here, just certain parts you need to modify. Going back to documentation, you have all these different documents. You can use these forms if you have made them in some other format that may or may not be fine. Uh, preferably make them PDFs. If you can export them as a PDF from Google Docs, Word, Pages, whatever software you use, that's preferable. But you can use these templates as well. I'm not going to go into these templates because they're not important in my opinion because you know how to make things already, you know how to do documents already. Export them as a PDF if you can. That should help make sure that, um, that IB can actually open them and assess them properly. Okay. So from here, let's pretend that I used RTF documents and I didn't use these open office ones. So I'll go ahead and uh, remove all the open office ones and go ahead and just pretend that I have my criterion D in there as well, which should be a video file. All right, so here's my, my stuff. Pretend I did an amazing job, all right? So then we go into the cover page. We need to open this with a plain text editor. If you're on a Mac, you have text edit if you're on a Windows, you have Notepad. Windows also has WordPad. You want to use tech. You want to use Notepad. Uh, WordPad is rich text format, which means that it can have things like bold and different font choices and different formatting things that can mess up the HTM code. So Notepad or text edit. All right, this is more or less what it should look like. If you have little options up here, then your version of text edit is in rich text format. Or if you're on a Windows machine, then you're in WordPad, not in Notepad. So Notepad, text edit. If you've got all the little things up here, then we need to go up here to text edit and preferences. And you want to go to plain text. Make sure all of these things are off. Go to open and save. Display HTML as HTML code. And all the rest of that looks fine. Make sure those are off. That all looks fine. That's what your setting should look like. So that way it'll work properly when you're editing it and it won't add any extra uh, rich text format code. Now, when you first close this, you won't see changes. It only happens when you open a document. So you'll need to close it and then you'll need to reopen it with text edit. All right, so these are tags. You should be familiar with sort of how this already works, right? Basic HTML tags. So go into here. 
don't change some of these things. Like, this is not capitalized. This is not capitalized. Yeah, that's how it came from IB. Leave that alone. All right. Don't add in your student name. We don't do that anymore. Uh, I don't think you need to add in school number or candidate session number. I don't think you need to add those things in. Um, I can add those in myself if I really need to. In the past, more recently, we have not had to do that. So go ahead and leave those blank. You do need your solution title. So whatever your solution is called, go ahead and rename that. Ignore username, leave that alone. Then you need your products, okay? So this should link to whatever is inside of here. All right, so um, we can just make a link tag. So that's the A-H-R-E-F. So an anchor tag, that is a hypertext reference. And then whatever the uh, file name is inside of here. So we would go product because it's inside of the product folder. And then, I don't know, let's say I made it with HTML and JavaScript, right? Then it'd probably be index.html probably, right? If you did something with with um, C++, it might be like that. Or if you did something with Java, maybe it might be a .jar file, whatever it is, right? That should be the link to that. And then make sure you close that tag, right? And if I save this and I open this with Safari, oh, I didn't want to open it with Safari. That's fine. Now we can see here that uh, this is linked, right? There's a hyperlink here. It's not going to go anywhere because I have nothing in my product folder, but it would try to, right? Okay. So we have this that corresponds to this. You don't need to worry about that. You do need to link all of these, right? And they actually have links already here. Uh, it just... They're the default ones, and they may be the wrong default ones. They may be the open... Uh, um, the open office ones or they might be the RTFs they might not be what you used so you need to go in there and check all right and then you also need to add your word count down here notice this part here if the product does not load please go to the product folder and click on the index.html edit as required so um, again you might modify that slightly right it may not be an index.html you might instead have you know a main dot py file or something so whatever it is modify that as you need to and then you can remove that part all right so then here okay we've got all of these and uh you'll just need to modify them as you need to right so these are already set up where you have them labeled as pdfs notice the naming convention it doesn't necessarily matter that much if it's exactly the same. Just make sure that your files are clear and make sure that they're actually linked correctly, right? So you'll want to have all of these in there. Check this. Make sure that this is the right format. Uh, .avi is pretty old. Yours is probably more like an MP4. Okay, so check all of these things. And then when you're done, add in whatever your word count was, right? And that should be the word count that goes across all of them right so what's your total word count so if I save this and I refresh this there we go and then then make sure that you actually make sure that they work right so click on each one of these and make sure it actually goes there right so if I click it's not gonna work because I don't actually have those files in there right now on um, Safari it's just not finding them and it's not going if I do this with Firefox we might actually get an error or a complaint or a not found or some sort of message telling me that it tried so if I go here and I click there we go file not found right so click on each one and make sure that it actually goes to the file that you really see it if it doesn't go check see what you labeled them as in the folder structure and the file structure and also check what you wrote here. Make sure there's no typos or anything. Make sure they match. All right. So once you're done with all that, you go back. You can delete the original zip file. Zip what you just did. Upload that so that way it can be uploaded to the IB uh, when your teacher, when I'm required to do so.